So if you've been around the channel for a while, you know I don't really cover esports or like Twitch or Ninja or any of that stuff, but something happened today that is pretty large just overall. Like we're talking like video games and everything in general because I think there's a lot to what's happened today and we're going to talk a bit about that and it really boils down to Microsoft uh, really dealing, as people were saying, a major blow to Twitch by signing Ninja exclusively. So Ninja is just, he's just leaving Twitch completely. And Ninja is known, obviously, for Fortnite. But what's really funny is, it, this might show my age, and some of you might uh, remember this from YouTube, and even off of YouTube, to be honest, because we would share videos outside of YouTube and uh, I think we had Newgrounds and stuff, but I don't remember any of that stuff being posted there. I think it was just hosted and put up on even maybe torrent sites, but we, different ways we'd share videos before YouTube. Anyway, there were ways that we would watch different videos around Halo. Uh, I think Call of Duty was another one, Modern Warfare when that came out, although Call of Duty 2 is still kind of popular online um, as well. But Halo had quite a presence, Halo 3 specifically online uh, back then, back in the late 2000s. I'm thinking like 2008, 2009, because I remember Halo 3 came out right at the end of 2007 in like the fall. So like 2008, 2009 is when it really started to pick up steam online, especially with YouTube showing up. And you might remember it if you're older, we would have different compilations of uh, kill streaks and people doing really well in games. And you might think you're really good at Halo 3, like myself and my friends, I'm sure. But then you would watch some of these people play Halo and you would realize that you're probably not cut out for the tournament scene yet. And it would just take a lot more practice to get to that point if you could ever make it. And I specifically remember seeing several people online in these compilations playing and they would throw all of the the pros together because you might miss them uh, in tournaments and stuff. And I do remember Ninja or, or Tyler Blevins at the time, uh, Ninja, he he would, his tag was like Ninja and then it had something in front of it. It was like straight something or might've been the clan he was with or something, but he was, he was good. He was really good at Halo. Uh, you know, he's one of the pros at Halo 3. <clears throat> and I think he also went on to Halo Reach because I remember Halo Reach came out and I played some of that. I wasn't as into it as I was with Halo 3. So I, I kind of moved on from the whole thing and then Halo 4 came out and I was definitely out by then. I just stuck with Halo 3 mostly. Uh, but, but of course, he got his big break with Fortnite, blows up on Twitch, plays with celebrities and everything. And now he is leaving and going to Microsoft, Mixer. Mixer is Microsoft's streaming platform, similar to Twitch, although I would argue that it's actually better in terms of quality overall. I've looked at uh, Twitch, right? And I, I never got into Twitch. I mostly went with YouTube instead, mostly because the management with Twitch is sketchy at best, right? I think it's becoming more and more obvious with a lot of examples coming out with uh, treatment to different creators and everything, and it's all over the place. I know it's a whole thing, uh, but I did try Mixer a while ago. In fact, I streamed Halo 3 uh, a little while ago, and it was it was pretty good. It was around the time they did the rebranding, and I thought it worked fine, and I've even looked at it here and there and considered doing something with it, you know, whether it's we restream and we have the spawn cast on YouTube and on Mixer. Uh, and I just, I wasn't sure because Microsoft, I didn't know if they were taking the platform seriously. And then they had layoffs recently where they had their original shows around video games. They had layoffs in that department. And to be honest, at that point, I thought they were kind of not really throwing in the towel, but maybe stepping back a bit and just letting the platform just kind of grow on its own if it was going to grow. However, it looks like they were pivoting in a different direction. And I don't think this is going to be the last signing, by the way. So Ninja is just straight up leaving Twitch. He's just going to specifically and exclusively stream on Mixer. And that is a big deal for Mixer. It does appear that Ninja's popularity has kind of waned a bit and he was going down in terms of subscribers, but he's still a big name that would draw a pretty large crowd, right? I think his, his numbers for streaming are like 40,000 people or something at a time watching something crazy. So he's going to bring an audience to Mixer, and it makes a lot of sense. And it seems that Microsoft is also planning ahead for Halo Infinite, I think. So here's the thing. Ninja's going to go to Mixer. He's not going to change much. He even said in their press release that he's not going to be changing anything too drastically. All right. So most likely he's going to continue to play Fortnite for the time being. All right. So after announcing it, on uh, his Twitter account and everything, and then having the press release go out. 
It sounds like he's going to continue doing Fortnite probably up until, I'm going to make a, a, a prediction, probably up until the beginning of next year, especially when the Master Chief Collection starts rolling out to PC, for example, right? I think that's when you may see all of a sudden Tyler do a, uh, or Ninja, do some sort of stream around Halo Reach, because that's going to be the first one, apparently, coming to PC. I could see that. I could see it just going, oh yeah, uh, I'm going to be playing Reach tonight, you know, something like that. And then, of course, the big one, I think it's going to be when Halo Infinite comes out at the end of next year, you will most likely see Ninja streaming Halo Infinite. And it's kind of a thing to me that's kind of, it's full circle, isn't it? I mean, if you think about it, he started out back in 2009 playing Halo 3, then Reach, and then kind of just kind of jumped around, eventually landing on Fortnite. And now he's coming back. He's coming back to Microsoft, to Mixer, and probably will be playing Halo Infinite back to where he started. In fact, he even said going back to my streaming roots, he's technically not wrong, I guess, if he does end up landing on Halo. And I think if they do the launch of Halo Infinite correctly, he could, yeah, he could go back to his roots. And I think his his uh, audience would follow him as they did for something even like Apex Legends. Now, the most obvious thing here is that Microsoft uh, paid him quite a bit of money, I'm sure, because he wasn't making... Uh, just a small amount of money on Twitch. He's made quite a bit of money, I'm sure. Uh, there were there were talks about how EA paid him a million dollars to do Apex Legends, and you know what? Good. Good for him, I say, uh, at that point. So, uh, most likely, Microsoft signed some big deal with him that we don't know the, the, the details of the contract or anything. I have a feeling there's something in there about marketing deals or Halo or anything like that. Uh, just kind of, I think Microsoft is doing a few things here. They are working to build up their Mixer streaming platform, obviously. Uh, and then they're also working to hurt Twitch and then working towards Halo Infinite's launch and possibly the esports scene on Mixer specifically. Uh, and just working to grow that because there is a lot of money in video streaming. And I look at Twitch right now and Twitch, I think, is probably the, the weakest it's been. I don't want to say the weakest. I'm going to say most vulnerable it's been with a lot of the controversies around it and the spotlights on those controversies around Twitch right now. Mixer is fairly clean right now uh, in terms of the, its reputation. So, I yeah, I, th I think Mixer could make a move here. Uh, now, YouTube streaming isn't anything amazing at this point, right? They, they don't even advertise it that much. Twitch is the biggest streaming platform, I would say, right now that people stream games on or, or talk shows or anything else. But Mixer could be the next big one. It could take over Twitch, especially if they continue to make these moves. I mean, you look at Twitch and you see some of the creators that they have some strife with right now, right? Back and forth with, whether it's Dr. Disrespect as an example. I, You know what? I'm just gonna, I could see Mixer maybe talking to him about, hey, why don't you, why don't you come on over? Microsoft's got the, the deep pockets, right? Uh, that's, that's another person I, you know, I could see just kind of throwing it out there as a prediction, pulling them in because they saw the, the marketing blitz that Apex Legends did when it launched, right? They didn't really put commercials out or anything. They just, they got some streamers together. They said, hey, we're going to pay you guys. You're going to stream Apex Legends. And it worked. It grew very, very quickly. Is it sustainable over time? Maybe not, but Halo probably is because of the name. So I think this is very interesting to see Microsoft become this aggressive and pull Ninja, Ninja away from Twitch. Uh, that is a big deal. And we'll see what Mixer can do. I will say one piece of advice. Make a Mixer account now. <laughs> Go make a Mixer account. It's still fairly young, but the service is actually pretty good. Uh, I, I would I would just say, and especially if you're an up and coming streamer and you're trying to make it work, I'm looking at Mixer right now, and I think it's going to grow exponentially if they continue this push over the next. I would say two to three years. So if you're trying to figure out where to go because of how saturated Twitch is right now, and some people don't even don't even look at Twitch the same way as they did, you know, two years ago or something, Mixer might be the place to go to kind of set up, you know, and see if you can make something there. Because I think more and more people are going to be going to that platform as they sign these big names. And then I think Microsoft is also going to push people who are playing their games just just put it out there. So things like Bleeding Edge and then, you know, things like Halo and and Gears. Those, I, I think those games might get a nice feature spot in the front. They'll rotate them. I, I've seen what Mixer is trying to do right now, and it, it might be better for the smaller creator currently 
especially if you can get it on the ground floor now as they grow. But let me know what you guys think about this, because this is this is big. Ninja, as he says, going back to his roots, especially if he ends up playing Halo Infinite, shifting from Fortnite to that, would be pretty massive. Maybe playing both at the same time? I don't know. It depends if he wants to get back into the competitive scene for Halo. I would like to see that, to be honest. I think that'd be really, really cool to see. Uh, make sure you guys like the video if you enjoyed it, dislike it if not, and I'll see you guys next time.